Hey, a question that I get asked a lot is what KVD treble do I put on my different hard baits? Well, I can tell you, you know, I have so much confidence in those must add KVD trebles. You know, I helped design that hook. My favorite hook is the TG76. You know, it's a one extra strong, extra short, you know, one time extra short, wide gap triple grip treble that comes with an ultra point. So they're super sharp. They really hold up, um, you know, if you're grinding the rocks and gravel and hitting hard bottom with them, the points stay sharp on them. They're really strong and they don't flex. You know, if you're catching big smallmouth, even with a little number four treble, they really just don't straighten them out. So what I do is I put the size that fits these baits the best to maximize the gap that I'm gonna get. So I'll go up in size generally with almost every bait. So I'll just go right through it. So a small little bait like this little 1.0, I can, you know, I can put number four KVDs on there. They don't, uh, uh, you know, hang, they're not, they don't affect the action of the bait or anything like that. And even with heavy line, these are not gonna flex or bend out. The same thing with a, with a little series three, you know, the three or the three XD, I can go up to a number four KVD because of that extra short shank on there. You know, they don't tangle together. And again, their holding power is just incredible. You know, a standard 1.5 or like a half ounce red eye shad, I can go to number twos on that. And the same thing again, they're not gonna tangle. You can see it's a bigger hook. They actually, because of their diameter, they weigh a little bit more, but they really help that action. You know, this bait has a great hunting action. That heavier hook on there really enhances it. So I go to number twos on any of the 1.5 series uh, baits, whether it's the shallow runner, the flat side, you know, uh, the square bill like this, it's gonna work real well. Now, when you go to bigger baits, um, you know, like this uh, 2.5, I can go up in size again. So I can go up to a number one, or my favorite is a one aught. So I'll put the one aughts on this 2.5. Um, I put the one aughts on the 4.0 square bill. And again, you can see those are big hooks that, that are on there. I can throw these on 20, 25 pound test line. And I know that if I get a big bass and heavy cover, I'm gonna keep that fish locked on there. A 6XD. You know, same thing. I can go up to that one aught size on there. That 8XD, I can go up to that one aught size. A 10XD, I go to a two aught. That big 8.0 square bill, I can go up to a two aught on that too. And again, it's got that wide gap, that super strong hook, and and uh, they're ultra ultra sharp. So they're going to really hold those fish and lock them on. I have won literally millions of dollars with these hooks and, and classics and, and tournaments and things like that. They have holding power like no other hook. The one thing you have to, uh, you know, kind of watch is the balance of, you know, baits that, that, you know, are going to be more affected by the weight of the hook. So even this sexy dog, I can put number twos on and put three of them on there and they're not going to, um, you know, get hung up and they really hold those fish on. You know, if you're fishing for four or five pound smallmouth, they have so much torque on a jerk bait or a stick bait like this, you want that super strong hook. You know, other baits, you're not gonna have that option. You know, with a jerk bait, for instance, you're not gonna be able to um, put a number two on there without making that suspending bait sink. So I'm gonna put number fours on all of my KVD jerk baits. And again, the strength of that hook is just so impressive that it's gonna keep those fish locked on there. What I try to do is put as big a hook as I can on there without them tangling together and without it affecting the action of the bait. So, you know, a subtle top water like the KVD Splash, you can't upsize the hook on that without changing the action of that bait. But all these crank baits, red eye shads, things like that, it allows me to put those bigger hooks on there without affecting the action, gives me a lot more holding power, a lot more strength. I can fish them with heavy line, I can fish them in heavy cover, and it's gonna keep those bass locked on. I, I just have so much confidence in the hooking and holding power of that must add KVD treble. It's, it's been really, really good to me. If you want to learn more about what it's like out in the tournament trail, follow me on social media, go to my YouTube channel, or go to kevinvandam.com.